look on his face when you tell him his daughter's been kidnapped. <laughs> and it's all your fault. I've got to go. Batman's here. What's wrong, Jim? Come on, you're scaring me. It's Barbara. She's been taken. No, no, no. I spoke to her. She said she got out. She left hours ago. Stay calm. We'll get her back. Which one? Who's got my little girl? Scarecrow. They took her from the clock tower. All right, we need to go. There could be a clue, something that will lead us to her. I'll follow. Stay in contact. You've got to tell him it's your fault at some point, Bats. And the great thing is, I'll be standing right there when you do. Jim, I need you to stay focused. It's dangerous out there. Drive slow and let me deal with any trouble. Why did I let this happen? There's no way you could have predicted this, Jim. It's my job to predict it as a cop and a father. The whole thing's gone down on my watch. Up ahead, we got company. Who are they? Militia. Okay. Pursuing forces, this is Arkham Knight. Your priority is to apprehend Commissioner Gordon. I say again, your priority is to apprehend the Commissioner. I want him alive. Let nothing stand in your way. Get in the Batmobile. I'll take us to the clock tower. Just get us there in one piece, Batman. We're running out of time. Sir, before you head to the clock tower, I thought you may like to hear the analysis of the Arkham Knight's forces you requested. What have you got, Alfred? I've set the Bat Computer to analyze militia presence across the three islands and provide you with a real-time representation of the occupation's strength in each zone. As you can see, Miyagani Island is heavily occupied, with a substantial drone ground force controlling the roads. Founders Island is the militia's stronghold, protected by long-range radars and a missile launcher. I'd recommend keeping the Batmobile away from there for the time being. The remaining drone forces on Bleak Island have been redeployed to protect the clock tower, so expect significant resistance. Thanks, Alfred. I'm heading there now. Sergeant! Y yes, sir? The extraction squad's down. Take control of the clock tower drones. He's coming. Switching to manual control. I'll stop him, sir. Jim. The clock tower surrounded. I'll clear the area and let you know when it's safe to head inside. Batman took out a drone. Make him pay. Multiple drones offline. What the hell was that? The enemies acquired simultaneous strike capabilities. Think faster. There are militia troops all over the clock tower, Jim. You'll be safe in the Batmobile. I'll let you know when the area is secure. I'm not just sitting here while you go after those bastards. Yes, you are, Jim. Barbara wouldn't want you to get yourself killed. I'll be in touch the minute I'm done. The second. Clock tower unit, Batman knows we have his ally. It's not safe to enter without taking out the militia troops on the roof of the clock tower. I'm gonna tell you how.
What's inside? This isn't over. Ace was nothing compared to a scarecrow that I had planned. Picking up on us right now. I'm going nowhere until we take out this freaking bat tank. If he was in there, don't you think he'd fire back? It's a decoy, man, I'm telling you. Where the hell's our ground support? He took them all out, every one of them, and now he's coming for us. Quit complaining and keep a lookout. Jim, the area is secure. Meet me in the clock tower. I'm impressed. Your tricks don't seem new for a long time. Colleen? Is that you again? Just yet. Come on. Show a little spine. <laughs> Just wait till your father gets home. He's going to be furious about all this mess. Nothing like a trip down old memory lane, eh, Bats? And now a front row seat to the main event. You would have thought old Jim Gordon had been through enough. First, some handsome young maniac cripples his daughter. Now he's blaming himself for her being taken. You really should tell him this is your fault, Bats. I'm sure he'll understand. I mean, it's not like you went out and got his daughter killed. Well, not yet, anyway. The night's still young.
This isn't your fault, Jim. Of course it is. Crane's done this to get to me. I should have been here. There's something I need to show you. We haven't got time. She's not like us. She's strong, Jim. Stronger than you realize. She works for you? This is all your fault. I will find her. She's my family! My daughter! She's all I've got! I never should have trusted you. Never! I'll do this on my own. Stay away from my family. I think that went quite well, considering. Of course, I wouldn't have told him, but that's why it's so liberating being me. You've got a lot to look forward to, Bats. I need to find out what happened to Barbara. They covered their tracks by disabling the clock tower security cameras. If I hack the municipal CCTV system, I should be able to monitor all access points to the building. That's the Arkham Knights Militia. That's the Arkham Knight. He's got Barbara. I need to confirm which car he took her in. There. That's the vehicle they took Barbara away in. Those tires are Amertech D60s. I can program the Batmobile to track their unique tread pattern. It'll lead me right to them. Now that I think about it, how did Scarecrow know to go after your IT department? I mean, I had no idea she worked for you when I shot her. I just got lucky. Seriously, I was aiming for her head. The tire tracks will lead me to Barbara. I can use the Batmobile forensic scanner to follow them. Camera when I swept Barbara off of <laughs> Poor old Jimbo had to make do with a slideshow. Riddler, talk while you still can. I'll tell you everything I know. It'll do. Knight's name. As do I, Master Bruce. He has presumably chosen that title for a reason. Where do you suggest we start? Arkham City. Go through the files of every inmate who was released following the death of Hugo Strange. And Alfred. Yes, sir? They knew about Barbara. Activate the Batcave security protocols. Don't drop your guard. I've got Oracle Pad, man. Now you care who I am. Just gotta find me. The Gotham's a big place, and there's a whole army between us. Alfred, the militia have deployed a device. It's burrowed deep into the road. Yes, I see it. Similar devices are being planted across the city. I'll investigate.
It's a bomb, Alfred. A well-armored one. Oh, dear. In that case, sir, should you really be standing quite so close? I'm going to set up a remote link to the bat computer and hit it with every virus we've got. Once we're hacked in, I can expose the core and defuse it with a controlled explosion. Very good, sir. Though I should warn you that the militia has already deployed a platoon of its unmanned tanks to stop you. They won't. Sir, the virus upload has destabilized the device. If you move too far away and lose the connection, it will flatten everything within a 10-block radius. As you predicted, sir. He's trying to defuse the device. The You're too far away, sir. They'll detonate the device. Pause in place, Sergeant. There are deterrents. I know, sir. I'll stop him dead. payload is exposed. I can use the power winch to trigger a controlled explosion. You think that's it, Dark Knight? I've got this whole city wired to blow. Try and disarm the explosives and you'll face even more of my drones. You see, I've waited years and no one is taking this from me. They'll get a charred crater if they try. Sir, that warning was broadcast publicly. I suspect the Arkham Knight wishes to discourage outside intervention. The Arkham Knight's trail leads into Miyagani Island. Lower the Mercy Bridge. I, I can't, sir. We're locked out. The militia must have hardwired into the transport control system. Find me their access point. Right. Tracing the network traffic, it seems to have all been rerouted to Grand Avenue Station. Then that's where they'll be. I'll proceed on foot and take over their access point. I'll contact you when you're able to lower the bridge. Be careful, sir. Miyagani Island is rife with militia drones and troops. Listen up, man. We control the bridges, but Batman can and will adapt. Stay alert. Watch the skies. The station's crawling with the Arkham Knight's militia. I need to clear them out and find the access point they're using to hack into the transport network.
Batman's already out of date. What do you mean? I mean, Batman's got a new suit, and it looks badass. He's upgraded. Who cares? His tactics are still the same, right? Fancy toys at range, even fancier martial arts up close. We'll stop him. With the Arkham Knight's men taken care of, I can use their uplink terminal to lower the bridges. Isn't that Barbara's job? Oh, right! In all the excitement, I almost forgot! <laughs> you don't really believe old Jimbo's gonna forgive you if you save her. He holds a grudge, Bats. I should know. Alfred, I've re-enabled the bridge controls. Marvelous. I'm rebooting the network now. Forget Scarecrow. It's time to face your one true nemesis, Batman. Oh dear. Is that who I think it is? Enigma. Contact me when you're ready with the bridge. Riddle me this. Why would a Batman visit an abandoned orphanage? Eddie, sweetie, you confuse me with Robin. The big guy and I aren't all that close. Oh, oh, I know. It's because of what will happen to his feline friend if he doesn't get here in time. Shocked, Dark Knight? Stunned? <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? That is because you are no match for me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and your intellectual superior. Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliated me. I know you will not beat me this time. It is utterly impossible. You cannot do it. I have won already. I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrums. I will stand triumphant over your bloody corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective. 
or she dies. The bat creature's still at large on Miyagani Island. I'm going to hunt it down and take a blood sample, determine who or what it is. Alfred, run analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. Right you are, Master Bruce. I'm searching for possible matches now. How you managed to get this sample is beyond me, sir. Ah, here we are. The blood is heavily mutated, but we have a partial match, a Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Search for any properties in Gotham owned or leased by Dr. Langstrom. Certainly. Uh, let me see. Ah, he and his wife lease a basement laboratory in Chinatown, I'm sending you the address. Dan's plan is something big. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Alfred, I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. 
At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it.